Okay, so Chrome 100, the version 100 of this Google Chrome browser is coming very soon. You can see I'm on Chrome version 99 at the moment and anytime, I don't know, I mean, it's probable that it's still even out, but I haven't upgraded yet. But Chrome 100 will come and it will break a few websites online and let's understand why that will happen and what google can do to fix that if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so first of all let's just understand what this browser version is well you see that obviously in software if you are if you are releasing software what we usually do is we tie it with certain versions so that it is easier for people to say that okay this bug was introduced in version 5 or this feature was implemented in version 7 or 10 and so on. So Chrome has been releasing these versions all the way from 1 to 100 and now 100 is gonna be released soon but this will break web in a way. Let's understand what this blog post goes about goes in and try to understand why that would break. So the first thing is that all of these versions which the browser is introducing and, and you know the browsers run on there is a special header called user agent which gets sent to the website. So I'm going to go ahead into networks tab and I'm going to give this page a refresh. And if I go to this doc filter you see here and click on the web page which is being loaded, go to header section, you're going to see that if I go to the request headers which is the headers my computer sent to that server, to that browser, to that end user you can see i have this header being sent called user agent now this user agent contains a bunch of things a, a simple string basically which helps the website extract out what my operating system is what the browser i'm running in this case chrome and what the version number is in this case 99.0.4844 this header is automatically sent by most browsers and most servers on the back end usually trust this in a way because i mean not trust as in security trust that you actually unlock some special access based on user agent but just that that okay if your user agent is let's say chrome version 5 which is like very very old browser then obviously without any doubt i know my website might not work with your version because let's say i'm using some fancy new javascript or web workers or some api which is just not supported in your, in your browser. Then of course, I'll just directly show you a message that, hey, your browser version is version five. You're running a browser which was released in 2010. This is horrible. I cannot just, you know, show my website to you. Please go ahead and upgrade your browser. And you might have seen that also if you ever ran some modern websites on Internet Explorer or back in the days. So, yep, this is how websites decode your information. This is how websites know from which browser you're coming from. And of course, this is not a secure way of knowing that, but you just have to anyway trust the end user, the end client on this, right? Most people do not tamper this user agent uh, until you're a programmer. So, you know, regular people don't even know about what's happening under the hood, right? This user agent header, people have no clue on what this is. So what happens with Chrome 100 is that the moment this browser reaches version 100, this user agent will start becoming Chrome slash 100 dot, you know, something, something, something. Now this is all fine and good. And I mean, thinking about this, this should have no effect on any website whatsoever. But there are certain website builders, for example, Duda was one, they have now fixed it. But Duda was one where these guys would actually take only the first two numbers outside you know from the user agent itself so if i go to headers for example and if i check so what they'll do probably they have a regular expression or something they will have a chrome slash the next two digits as the version as the full version of the browser so what they would do is they would parse chrome slash 99 this whole thing as running a chrome slash 99 browser similarly for 98 97 and so on so what do you think what will happen when you have chrome slash 100 over here but of course this website builder would see that as chrome slash 10 and not chrome slash 100 why because obviously it's taking the first two digits and if it had a custom behavior based on the user agent it'll just stop you know it'll just stop serving websites to those people imagine that you are visiting a website which with a browser which was launched in 2010 ish something right 10 12 that time so of course you would not even put in effort to verify if all the apis and things exist and you'll just showcase them a message that hey your browser is very old come back with a newer one so similar thing this duda cloud uh not cloud provider it's it's a website builder 
would do when, when they hit Chrome slash 100. Now, of course, they have mentioned that they have fixed it within their internal, so that's fine. But there was another website mentioned over here, which was, uh, yeah, so this UK based Yell business was also one of this, this websites, which were about to break a lot of websites on their network because they were also using some some parsing like this now quick fix on this chrome what chrome team decided to do is that hey let's just freeze the version to 99 itself and then move the next set of major version to the next you know decimal in a way so your major version now is residing inside your minor version area and then rest of the string continues now this of course sounds horrible to me personally because this this looks like way too confusing for anyone to see a version because that's not how we version things. But this is more like a temporary thing, a temporary way of mitigating this disaster if it happens to a lot of websites. But yeah, I mean, most of the people who are affected by this are probably running on these website builders, which are not paying attention to the growing version numbers of Chrome. So... I mean, most, I, I don't feel like there would be a huge disaster on when Chrome 100 rolls out. Sure, it's it's absolutely 100% sure that some websites would break and some cloud providers or, you know, these website builders would not be paying attention to what's happening in the Chrome version space. But uh, most of the damage, I do believe, would be handled either before the version releases or shortly after these websites start breaking because users will start reporting and site admins will start reporting to the to the websites and so on so yep this is basically a little bit of pain and a little bit similar to what happened when there was a transition from 1999 to 2000 which was the y2k problem if you have heard about that that's a topic for another video but that's the thing that's how chrome 100 breaks things now, can you guess the next set of problem which can happen that will happen on chrome version 1000 <laughs> if if and only if these websites these these website builders which are patching this release just start relying on the three decimal places instead of four obviously you can have a regular expression that can expand to any number of digits until and unless it it hits a dot which is the best way to implement the versioning and extracting out this but i mean definitely someone would not just use that and would extract out start extracting out up to three decimal places and then that will blow up when chrome 1000 gets released which is you know i mean it's it's very far away in future so let's worry about that when the time comes but yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you learned something new if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching